Hi guys, how you doing? So, at the beginning of every video, this will be implanted. Implanting things of how I'm trying to uh, dive deep into your subconscious memory. Okay, so tarot cards and stuff will start soon, but if people could literally please leave a timestamp below, so people can, when they see the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, if they've seen it, you can skip through it and then go to the reading, okay? But I very much would appreciate just a moment of your time. So one thing that I really do offer, and it's had great feedback, but it's constant it's constant stuff that comes to me okay so i'm going to teach you about a lot about vi vocabulary but a flair a flair but to focus to focus your energy and direct it to where you're truly supposed to be going of where i can dive deeper into your subconscious memory to literally trigger off the responses of where you find responsibility for one's own actions, okay? Now, a lot of this might seem very kind of physical, but it's physical and metaphysical. It's how we deal things with things in the actual physical that lead to the 3D response of time, which is still time, okay? It's the time of separation that you take where people can take from your subconscious memory and why that is so important and things that people are missing, okay? Because you end up missing in action and not realizing why retrograde still brings the same lesson around again when you think that you've got it, but then someone comes back for round three. 3D, okay, so why it happens in the 3D, because it's an energy tear and an energy flare of physics and also metaphysics, but it's also the response of a flare, so you can have a flare up, flare up and a tear up, but if you have a flare up and a tear up, you're tearing the time space continuum of the seven chakras that run through your body, so this is a lot of stuff that I will teach people about metaphysical and connection of where people still drain your energy psychically. So psychically, it's still projecting forward a focus of where I can focus my energy on your DNA coding system of obviously like the matrix, and it will break down that coding for me that will give it to me to give it to you. It triggers a response. What I've learned through a lot of these Skype call consultations is terms and conditions. It's where there is a term and there's a condition, but there's a condition that's pulled from me that gives it to you. Normally when I speak and I channel, I'm pulling it from you and it's an energy exchange, okay? It's, it's an exchange. So when we learn about energy exchange, it triggers off a response where I can figure out where your coding is of where people are going wrong, okay? But that also pulls it out from me where I learn just as much from you as what you do me. Because sometimes when I'm channeling, it gives you information that is also unlocking those secrets and those depths, depths of desire through Pandora's box. But the depths of desire of all the secrets that are locked away within the subconscious, it pulls them from me to actually give you a response of something that I didn't know myself. So it gives you the information as well as it gives me. So thank you, <laughs> you know, thank you. So I do really much appreciate that because all the people that have returned and people that I deal with on a physical level have had so much great response through how they're now responding to their own subconscious memory because it's fine tweaking your actual your own matrix system of where it will learn uh, hopefully teach you to focus your energy more on the sweet spot where you're unlocking the desire of pandora's box pandora's box does not hold one secret it holds many okay but that is locked and it's not locked down here it's locked in the subconscious memory okay so you will see things appear cards towards the end and it will give you another kind of affirmation or another thing of where I also kind of explain the same kind of thing but slightly differently but the client consultation of Skype calls and other things the exchange of empaths is so important of where trust me you are really missing the secret you're missing the secret and that's why I thought I would leave this on at the beginning for people because it's so important of the first step of what they're really missing and when they go away and you form the separation of oneself is where you end up coming back round for another fight and where it still comes back round as of another lesson with someone else because of a lot to do with what blame is but people think that blame is where you're just physically blaming someone 
there's a lot more depth to it than that. Trust me, there really, really is. But a lot of these secrets and stuff that I give to people will uh, require homework too, but it will give me a lot to give back to you, you know. So there's an exchange of, but um, it really will unlock those secrets of where people are seeking for the answer. It will give you the answer. Trust me, it will put you on your path much, much, much quicker, much quicker. So also over on Patreon, you might find some of these videos in tear where we tear up and we have tier two. Tier two is still a teaching segment that I offer certain videos as well, but there are certain things that I will only do in Skype consultations. Now a Skype consultation is just an equally and vitally important more because uh, what I'm saying, it helps me hit that spot of where you can't find it. That's why I dive into your subconscious memory that helps it dive into my subconscious memory that reflects it back from me to you, from me to you, from me to you. And we form a quality of a connection that is pulling secrets from me to give it to you and the secrets from you of where I can explore your dark side for you. <laughs> Scorpio Ascendant. But it pulls that dark side where I can explore your dark side of your subconscious memory that's here that pulls and draws the focus around so you can more focus on oneself of what we say. But self-worth comes in many forms, many, many forms that people miss. OK, but it will help you focus more on your third eye because people empathically, psychically pull from your third eye that pull you directly to focus it on them. That's the, that's the main part of what you miss. So I can help you balance your vision and help you balance your third eye that will draw balance back to you. It will draw what's meant for you back to you, okay? And to me, okay? So that's something that I offer. Sagittarius, how you doing? So we're here with your September reading. How you doing, Sag? So uh, I, I didn't really have a song for you, but there's some geezers at the pub, and I've got my window open, and I can just hear these people at a pub playing this goddamn music, and it's awful because they're live performers, and they're, well, in my eyes, they're not very good. <laughs> and it's all right now, baby, it's all right now. So they're singing that anyway, so that might be a song for you. It's all right now, baby. Maybe there's another baby. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows, Sagittarius? If I have children, obviously, well, everybody kind of... <laughs> I've got no idea. Sag, let's see. So it's all right now. It's all right now. Baby, it's all right now. They're still playing it. But they are awful. <laughs> Sorry. They are awful. They're out of time. Out of time is what I'm also picking up. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for. Can you hear that? I don't know if you can hear that, Sag. Sagittarius, oh my word. Sagittarius, so what's going on? So someone's got a plan of getting out. Someone's got a plan to get out. So if you're not getting out, you need to get out. <laughs> you need to get out. This is like a plan. This is an idea, okay? Now, the thing that I've learned about my life path number is that we can self-deceive ourselves. So you might have a life path number seven, okay? But everybody's connected to seven. So it's very difficult to realize that you are very, 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 very intelligent, okay? Very intelligent. But that's emotional intellect, but you can also destroy yourself too. Search and destroy, it would also represent Mars as well, in a, in a way. Because you can destroy one's own belief, okay? So this can be you or them or something. But it's a plan, an idea, someone that has emotional intelligence, because it's uh, a plan of escape, okay? It's like the great escape. But people that had that were also life path number seven, were also Stephen Hawkins and... Um, what was her name? Um, I forget what her name was. Uh, model, Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe and Lady Diana. They they were they were all life path number seven. And look at Marilyn Monroe. What happened to her? It's very easy to destroy oneself. So we do search and destroy, but that's a plan of action in order to leave something behind. Now this can be a person or an idea or a plan of escape. Now, you might be distrustful and you might be distrusting people, but it depends on what the radio wave or the signal that you're putting out of distrust. Because if you just distrust them, they distrust you. Okay, so somebody, but everybody is kind of at the moment, is what I'm feeling, is that everybody's like, I just don't trust fucking anybody around me at the moment. It's like, I just got a plan that I just need to walk away from the argument. This energy is walking away from an argument. Okay, 
Now it's repent, repents, repents, repentance. <laughs> but it depends on what you're receiving is what you're giving. Okay, receiving because there's also a taking and a receiving and a giving energy. The radio wave and the frequency that you're putting out of distrust is what you're getting back to receive something back. Somebody wants to get you back or somebody wants to come back, but baby, come back. Because <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. But this is like, I've just got to leave this. I've got to leave this deception behind. Because if people are around me are deceptive, I'm out. But why is it that I keep being stuck in this pattern of them coming back? <laughs> Because they're, they're getting you back of what you're putting out. Okay, It's the day of rest. Before we rest, we come up with a plan of God's master plan. Master plan was to say, there you go. There's the universe on the eighth day. On the eighth day of an awakening. Awakening is this. The day of the dawn. The day of the dead. <laughs> the day of the dead. The awakening. The seven tower. <clears throat> Something ended. Or something was where someone has snapped at someone or someone's just finally snapped and they're like, fuck it, bro, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Someone snapped at you or they, or you snapped at them. Or someone snapped. And that's where everything can come crashing down on top of you. You see, trust and distrust is where everything comes crashing down you because it's linear of time that doesn't it, that works in your favor when you learn to become in alignment 444 four, four on the clock when you learn to become in the in alignment you realize that time works for you you work for time it's linear when you're really good at something you just work more relaxed you don't feel any energy of distrust you don't distrust yourself you believe believe in oneself so this is learning about intuition okay as well so let's see, Sagittarius. See what someone's happening. What's happening? feel a, I don't feel nervous for some reason. I think you already know, Sedge. Yeah. Someone, see this is the receiver. <clears throat> the, the radio waves and the signals that you're putting out is being received in a negative manner. Here. Because they don't want to listen. The radio waves that are received through the crown chakra are telling someone to piss off. <laughs> so it's stubborn. Could be a Taurus energy. Could be a Taurian. Capricorn or Virgo, either either way, they could also be in one's chart, okay, but someone is like so sick and tired of trying to tell this person that just will not do anything other different than what they're already doing it, it's like my way or the highway, the highway, okay, which can also relate to the chariot, which would be cancer, which would also be a seven, okay, so it could have something to do with like uh, finances to do with a car maybe or or a travel expense or expenses but there's always terms and conditions <laughs> with this person because <laughs> they're conditioned a certain way but there's always a terms and a condition that you always want it on your own terms right bruv <laughs> you always want things on your own terms <laughs> so it's like I just can't be around you at the moment you're just so stubborn you're not listening to a fucking word I'm saying but are you listening to oneself? <laughs> they're, they're saying that. Are, are, you, are you listening to yourself? <laughs> really? There's a fight. Because the radio waves of signals that you're putting out is a confusing energy. And it's obviously to do with like where someone might always want money. Or they have a lot of money. But this can be, I am a miser but none the wiser. It can be a very wise person with money. But you might see them as... Um, some people tight maybe or not tight it might just be the fact that they're good at saving money but none the wiser it's like some people might be like tight with money and it might be to do with that or tight with their feelings or tight-fisted is what I heard 
or it might be that the fact that someone's trying to save every penny and they realize that um, there's a mismatch to do with money put it that way it's like a mismatch to do with money where someone might have a lot of it but the giving receiving of energy is more of a I've got everything kind of energy like I've got everything that I want so I don't need to give you anything I can give you what I want when I want to give you it because it's a receiving energy of trying to escape the the feeling what's a feeling you know what is a feeling are they real are feelings real because people will say yeah my feelings are real so where are they can you see them exactly they come from your mind right from your mind's eye but can you see a feeling oh, you can't see a feeling you can see a fucking argument though right <laughs> sorry that's what i'm saying you can see an argument so where are your feelings stem from oh too many cards sorry Serge. oh there was a tower that was the tower. Sagittarius. It's to do with a family and a home. Continue on this. Yeah. Same ish. It's to do with children and a job and money. Some 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 people like they might want to be pregnant. They might want to get pregnant, but they realise that I can't anymore because someone's had the someone's had a, a vasectomy or a, the snip or what they call it for a bloke for a guy. <laughs> I don't know, sorry if I'm coming across a bit, <clears throat> but for some, they can't get pregnant, or they are, or they are pregnant, and they're fearing that they are pregnant, and that this person is going to leave them alone, but some, if you're just in a relationship, the energy is received to just leave me alone, I want to concentrate on my children and my career, and that's what I want, I don't want love, even though you're putting out the signal that you do, this person wants love, because she, they can get, she can get very over emotional, baby, <laughs> I'm so emotional, baby, every time I think of you, think, 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 stop, look, listen, stop, look, listen, listen, this person, you all could have like large family members, is what I'm also picking up for some, large family members, because the tower was, was did appear, which would mean like their home and the, what's reside at of things that are very dynamic within family, like heritage and like people's belief and stuff. It's very important to somebody that you probably have children or they might have children. This could be a co-parenting thing where the money and the finances are all in the way and you see that if you're in a dynamic, you might say, well, it's the other woman and they shouldn't be with them. They shouldn't be with them. They should be with me. And I've just gone through this with a Skype call. A lot of people, you know, if you want to reach out, reach out, please reach out. I don't want to do too much. Uh, I just, I know people want the reading and that's what I've really got to stick to. But Because there's some kind of, against for and against about pregnancy or the child or, or the loss of one or the loss of one because this is something that was taken so something was taken from somebody some money or 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 a child was taken from someone or they're fearing losing their motherhood like if you're a mother you're fearing letting go of one your uh i don't know the polite term to say it virginity for some i don't know why i'm coming out with that i'm sorry but one is fearing letting go of their child children or their home like where you reside in is so important to this person also it's like i love spending time with my family but when it comes to this dynamic that comes between family is is this person that that it's like they block you between your family or something or there's a someone's very guarded about their family about their family but i think that you're reflecting that back to one another i think you really are because this is fear you see fear it's your experience 
your soul experience of learning to open up to receive. So there might be a want of love and a want of a child, but blocked against the relationship for some people. It's like I want a child or I want a relationship, but I'm guarding myself and blocking myself actually from it. So you've got the wheel of fortune. Hmm. Something has to end for something to begin, obviously, because this wheel of fortune can go someone's like fame and fortune they want fame and fortune it might be like listen you always need to be seen in front of everyone don't you <laughs> good luck trying to control karma you can't escape this this was imprinted into your soul into your soul good luck trying to tell Saturn to piss off it's not a human being <laughs> it will make things worse if you don't come to terms come to terms sorry Someone's trying to come to terms with something that they've lost over a period of time. Something because Saturn can give things or take things. So it's a giving or a taking. But what you've got here is something that was taken from somebody. So if you're looking at this as a linear energy of taking one's like energy, then there's a process that you need to go through that I can help with a Skype call. Um, but someone might have lost a child or something or money via the internet or a business or they run a business and they, they run it but they keep hold of it, they save it a lot for their family. But it's like you're running out of time. This is someone that's run... Someone might be saying, listen, if we want another family, I'm gonna, I'm, we're running out of time. We're running out of time. Or you might be fearing that you're running out of time to meet someone. If you're single, you might be fearing, I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. I'm fearing and fearing. Because and... time is running out. Can't push it on the ground. See, this is the Sanskrit word for wheel is the is the base chakra, the Sanskrit word for the wheel, which is the wheel of fortune. You know, so your base chakra is grounded but it's blocked. Your chakras are blocked. Definitely the base chakra. You know, because it's too loud. So there you go. So they come in with another opportunity. But that's if the, if you're giving some. This can be a new person that some people can meet, right? But you're given another opportunity of the forgiven, to be forgiven. Forgive and forget for your sins, you know. You've got to learn to forgive to forget. Because you can play out this cycle many times. If you want to reach out to someone across the internet, then that's down to you. If you don't receive a message, because there is a receiver of a, a radio wave of a signal... That someone's trying to say hello <laughs> I've got my wand right in my hand <laughs> but that's either given or received or taken well or not because you've got the seven of swords if you don't reach out to them that's your karma if they reach out to you that's still their karma and your karma but someone wants to reach out to somebody here but they're fearing the fact of whether the message is going to be well received or not if I give you this opportunity, you see, this can be someone that's watching out for an opportunity across the internet to see if someone is also single or if they're with someone else. You see, because time's linear, these aces are free will, meaning 
it's just substance of like it can be missed and you don't even know it someone's missing out on action but they're missing an action as well because they've fucked off someone's ran out someone's ran out on someone someone's just gone that's what I'm picking up it's like hold on a minute where have you gone I'm off so if it's your relationship you might be saying well every fucking time we have a time ourselves to have a <laughs> an impassioned <laughs> a passionate encounter <laughs> every time that we have an impassionate a passionate impassionate what well, am I picking up impassionate someone's like imp like uh, what do you call it it's not really a word like impassionate like they might be good in bed or something, but they're like in uh, like empathy wise. They probably don't express empathy very well, but they express like, all right, <laughs> do you know? Like, all right, do you want a bit of this? And they're like, fuck that, bruv, I'm out. Is that all you're offering? You know, why is it that every time we get chance to have a night out or a night in, <laughs> a night out or a night in, you just, like, all of a sudden, then you want to go and watch the football, bruv. <laughs> or that you want to go and watch the cricket. Or you want to go and watch TV. Or you're just off. I want my own TV. Picking up that song. <laughs> the money for nothing and your chicks for free. <laughs> money for nothing and your chicks for free. That's what you might be thinking. Your money is for nothing, and your chicks are for free. Keep it, bruv. Keep it, bruv. Because I'm not no second choice or option. It is no option. I was my own option, bruv. I choose myself every time. So if you're looking at your partner and you're saying you're selfish, it's down to you. If you're on that scale of, like, fuck it, bruv, or I choose myself, I'm out. Like, you know, I'm out. And you start to run. But you've got to have clear intentions. Reach out. <laughs> Reach out. One more card to Sagittarius, please. Continue on this story. Could be a Pisces or a Sagittarius, possible. Possible. Another one. In their chart, maybe. But to me, this Seven of Swords would be everybody. Because it picks a partner out from the first to the seventh house. So, there you go. And there's Pisces or Virgo. The day of the awakening. The day of the dead, bruv. <laughs> the day of the dead. Someone's incarcerated at home in a mental prison of their own design. They're a designer. They like to design. They come up with a good plan. So positive aspects, Sag, is that they come up with very intellectual plans and structures. Their own design. But some of you might be seeing them as that selfish, that you just always just do things your own way. But that would be their, their karma. The parts of their... Uh, destiny number, which would be your uh, karmic number, also your soul urge and also your life path. I would very much look into those because people will blame people for their written path of what they have to experience within family dynamics. Okay. Um, if it is family, because I'm picking it up for a lot of you, but the day after rest was a new day that was dawn, eighth day. <laughs> but there are more than eight days in a week and there is a year or a century it's a deal it's a steal in fact <laughs> it's the turn of the century in fact fuck it Nick I think I'll keep it <laughs> right lock stock two smoking barrels this is the fall this is the day after rest dark and light Pisces dark fish white fish small box cardboard box <laughs> Right, Virgo, same, dark and light, opposites attract. 
Two step forward, do you really want to love to last forever? Bum, bum, bum. Two steps forward, one step back. They're coming back. Or someone's coming back, or someone wants you back. I want you back. Girl, I don't know what to do. I want you back. Pew, bow, 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 bow. Someone is on a complete new journey as well. Someone is like, Elvis has left the building. And you could well, some of you, meet a new person. That would be your reward. That would be your gift. That you... Dip. It's not, I don't believe in these spiritual retreats. You know, I don't... Because that will open you up as a receptor. <laughs> you will be opened up to your past life and receptive energy of what you're going to receive. Get ready to receive a mother load. <laughs> Sorry, somebody wants to give you a mother load. Sorry, they do and they want to impregnate someone. And that might be what's running scared. Someone's like, fuck it now, they're going <laughs> to... Someone wants a romantic night, come and travel to see you, cross the world, some people, and they want to give you a mother load. Sorry, I'm sorry, Dave. My spirit guide is Dave. He tells me to say this stuff. Dave is saying that someone is worried about that they are pregnant or they, or they might get pregnant and that they might not turn up because there's a turnout. <laughs> there's a turnout. Someone is coming. <laughs> Sorry. Jesus. Someone's coming, Sag. Someone's coming. They're coming to get you. Or you're going to get them. Or something. A date. But you've got these two very strange energies here. I don't know what this person is up to. This person's up to something. Shall we find out what they're up to, Sag? So we're going to go to the other side, guys, and then I'm going to continue to channel. The card should start to appear of the three-step method of reprogramming your subconscious memory. And let me explore your dark side for you, Sagittarius. <laughs> if you want an explorer of the dark, look for a, <laughs> look for a Pisces and look for a Scorpio ascendant. <laughs> the life path number seven. But I can explore your dark side for you and give you the messages. But it, during the Skype calls, they won't necessarily be tarot cards. I can just explore your dark side. Because <laughs> I is a deep diver. But anyway, this will also be found over on Vimeo and your monthly, in the monthly folder. But it will also be found over on Patreon. And if you also want to reach out for a reading via Skype or a tarot card reading, the link and services are below. Okay, thanks very much, Sagittarius. Have a very good September. Let's draw another card here, see what all these are going to be clarified to give me more of a perspective of the new and old feeling. Some of you are on the new vibe, some of you are on the old vibe. Some of you, this is just your partner, and we're going to see, and I'll try and give you all the messages that I can. All right, guys, thanks very much. Catch you again soon.